What's up guys, it's your boy Vito, and today we're talking about just leaving people alone. Not picking trouble with people. Loser beta cock. Loser beta cock 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 cock. Now when I started this channel, I kind of told myself that I was going to try to avoid getting into YouTube drama. I don't know what a Jake Paul is. I don't know. I don't know any of this. I don't care. But then this stuff started happening, and admittedly, the most nerdy community ever, the Magic the Gathering community. Now, I used to be a big Magic the Gathering guy. I have a couple Magic videos on this channel and some other channels. I don't play as much these days, but I do kind of keep up on what's going on. And there was this thing where this cosplayer, she shows up at all the events and dresses as the characters, she decided to quit doing cosplay because people were giving her so much shit. And one guy in particular, I guess, got it started. He made a video. But just being kind of mean, you know, I'm not, uh, we'll, we'll take a look in a second. Now, I wasn't going to comment on this because who gives a crap about magic cards other than me and, like, some nerds. But then I was watching this guy's video where he uh, explained what he did and was trying to defend himself. And I was looking in the background and I'm like, oh, motherfucker, are you serious? I'm the only one that genuinely cares about the community in the content that I produce. This is, this is Star Realms. My job is to design this game. I designed this box, which is on his shelf. I'm not actually connected to this situation. He just happens to own a thing that I made. But I was like, ah, I don't know, that seems like cosmic coincidence. Maybe I'll uh, get into it. Okay, so here we are on Australian Kotaku for some reason. A magic cosplayer quits due to alleged harassment. This Sprankle, la I don't know why her name is Sprankle. I don't know if that's a real name. Okay, so she posted on Instagram. I guess this would be a good place to... Nope, they always delete these things. She said she was canceling her upcoming appearance at GP Portland. That's a Grand Prix. It's one of the big magic tournaments. Deleting her private Facebook account. She's tired of the harassment wants a peace and cry. So yeah, not good. Not good stuff. Nobody likes to hear that somebody's being bullied on the internet for no apparent good reason. I don't know what the problem would be with this lady. She seems to dress up like fun characters. What she claims is that the guy who was responsible is this guy named Jeremy, I don't, uh, Jeremy something, Jeremy Jeremy. But he runs a YouTube site called Unsleeved Media, formerly MTG Headquarters. So this guy has a bunch of channels. I don't know why, but Unsleeved is his main one. It's got 140,000 viewers. So mostly what this guy does is bread and butter is he buys magic cards and he opens them on camera. Remember that time I complained about kyber crystals? This is that kind of content. I don't know, watching a person open a product is kind of sick when you think about it. <laughs> that we're just that obsessed with consumerism that watching people buy things. That's sick. We should not be doing that as a society. Sprinkle is a pro cosplayer. You know she's a professional cosplayer by the fact that she has to solicit Patreon dollars and then cry in her Patreon video to get loser beta cucks to give her money but you know what <laughs> first of all let me say you guys know that i have a problem with fat beard guys representing the fat beard guy community we got it hard enough as it is man can you just can you just not make more trouble for fat beard guys now this guy you know some people are supporting him they're like oh you know he made that video six months ago you know get over it and i'm not really going to get you know, super far into whether or not he's bullying or whatever else. He's obviously being shitty. But what I want to get into more is this thing where, wh why do you care how people make money? Like, this is not a thing that anyone should care about or get upset about. So we got, we got this girl. She has a Patreon. Okay. She has a Patreon. I have a Patreon. Whatever. A lot of people have Patreons. She has... 326 patrons, let's say they're all giving, what's her t medium reward? $5, maybe. Three times five is $1,500. 1500 That's not making a living. That's like making half a living, okay? Why do you care? Why do you care? And a lot of it has to do with, I think America has very weird ideas about work where if you're not working hard enough, you're an asshole. Why do you care how hard somebody else is working? I mean, this goes back to like the classic welfare thing where we go, oh, that guy's on welfare, fuck him. Welfare, you almost have the slightest semblance of an argument, which is, uh, they're taking my tax dollars, okay? And I'll admit, okay, you have an argument there. But this is a person who's getting donations. It has nothing to do with you. 
If people want to donate money to this girl for dressing up, fuck it. She's not, she's not taking your money. Okay, let's listen to what uh, Jeremy has to say. The latest thing that set me off on Patreon is a female cos- Set him off, first of all. This set him off. Crying on our video asking for money. So I don't know what video he's referring to. He's just saying that there was a video where she was crying and asking for donations. Okay, I can see how you would watch a video like that and think it's ridiculous or pathetic or whatever. I haven't seen the video. I don't know if it was reasonable or not. But let's assume the worst. Let's assume that she's a spoiled brat who's crying because she wants more money. Again, it's donations. The only way that you could be upset about this is if she is somehow lying about her situation. Like if she had tens of thousands of dollars and is crying pretending that she doesn't have money, okay, that would be a thing to get upset about. But you have no proof of that as far as I know. And I really don't think this this girl has like a bunch of money, but it's tips. If a guy's on the street playing a playing a tuba and he's got a and he's got a tip jar in front of him and you watch his performance you like his tuba playing and he goes hey could i get a dollar you're not why would you be pissed about that he's just asking you could be like ah sorry i don't have it this lady dresses up she says if you're watching my dressing up videos and you can help me out please help me out that that's a reasonable thing to say that's not a douchebag thing and again it comes back to this idea that it's like if people aren't working hard enough for their money that they're assholes motherfucker there are like executives out there in the world who are just like poisoning rivers and making billions of dollars get your priorities straight some chick who's dressing up as fun characters why do you care don't even waste any time thinking about it why make a whole video complaining about it one if she wasn't a good looking girl the support would be about five percent of what it really is how is that a point what what on earth does that have to do with anything yes she is a cosplayer who is attractive and she's popular as a cosplayer because she's attractive. That That's kind of how cosplay works, okay? That's kind of how any industry involving beauty works, okay? When you go buy a Playboy uh, magazine, you don't get mad at the girl in the Playboy magazine for being attractive. You don't go, ah, oh, the only reason she's getting paid to be in this Playboy magazine is because she's attractive. What? Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. What, what is the point that you're getting at? Is she taking money from ugly people? Or is it that she's making money based on, you know, superficial traits like attractiveness, which happens again everywhere. That happens everywhere. We have a movie industry and it's full of very pretty people. So to be like mad that she's making money from being pretty, uh, okay, extrapolate it out to somewhere that's actually important and not a chick who's making $1,500 a month, okay? What, whatever moral crusade you're on, there are clearly better targets. And two, if she wasn't also crying, same thing holds true. Okay, so he's mad that she cried during the video, which got her more money. I mean, again, you can say, like, that's stupid, you know? You can, you can laugh at it, like, oh, man, can you believe that people give money to this chick who's crying? But, like... I don't know, man. It just seems like such low-hanging, stupid fruit to, like, waste time talking about. And again, this dude's a small creator. I'm a small creator. Nothing I create really has value, okay? I can say there's value in making you laugh, okay? And maybe that's worth whatever ad revenue I get or, like, the small amount of Patreon money I get. But this person's doing the same thing. She's a small creator. She makes a thing that people like. Why, why are you mad that people like a thing? If you don't like a thing, fine. You don't have to give it money. What is your weird preconceived notion that like people got to work hard for their money? Like, oh, she's not even trying. She's just pretty. Motherfucker, you sit in a chair and open packs of magic cards. You are also not working very hard. I'm not working very hard. I'm in my room and I have a shitty light and, I, and a web camera and I'm yelling at you. Now, none of these YouTube guys are working all that hard. So why get mad at this chick? You know what, this this is working hard, first of all, okay? I mean, it's, it's, it's a fun work, you know? If work can be both fun and hard, but I'm not designing fucking costumes and having cool makeup and doing my hair all crazy. That seems like it's a lot of work. It is definitely more work than buying a pack of magic cards and opening it and opening it up on your channel. That is the least amount of work I can think of. Or this is some of his tweets. Cosplay at it again, delivering high quality content for 14 year old boys to enjoy. Calls her a man. Cosplay is dumb. Playing dress up is not work. Dude, again, <laughs> you open packs of magic cards. 
Like, you are in no position to judge how hard people are working. I'm sorry. If you are an average-looking woman or any man, you would not have garnered hundreds of patrons overnight. Again, I have no idea what his point is. His point is that by her existing, men and ugly people are denied the ability to make money by dressing up. See a sprinkle run posted yesterday. Allow messages to my Facebook page again. Question my life choices immediately. So here he's mad because she posted a tweet where she's like, okay, I allowed messages on my Facebook and I immediately got this message where it says, came for cosplay inspiration, left with an erection. You know what? I think it's reasonable to be like, you know, I don't post these things because I want people to tell me about their boners. You know, I understand that maybe looking at cosplay gives you a boner. Maybe that's why you're giving this girl money, but it's kind of inappropriate. No girl wants to hear about your penis. We've heard this a million times. Nobody wants to hear about your penis, see your penis. Okay, Howard Stern said it best. The one thing women don't want to see is a guy's penis. They want to see you got a job. They want to see you treat them nicely. <laughs> I talk to girls on the internet, and they're always showing me chat logs, and it's always some dude going, hey, what's up? They go, hey, what's up? And then he goes, hey, you want to see my penis? Like two or three messages in. Guys are horny idiots. I've covered that on many occasions. I don't want to hear about your penis. Don't tell me about your penis. The perfectly reasonable thing to tweet. Anyway, all you loser beta cucks, uh, are giving this lady money, and for some reason, this guy doesn't think uh, she's working hard enough. And uh, what he does for a job is uh, hang out and talk about how uh, cosplayers ain't working hard enough. Yeah, you're you're getting it done, man. Good work. Look at, I mean, it is like a all-time white knight gold rush for these losers that think they have any real chance at penetrating this woman. So much burning rage that I recorded a Patreon video crying and begging fucking losers for their money. Okay, here he's pissed. I, I don't know if she tweeted this immediately after, but she's kind of talking about what happened, which is people were calling her fucked up names and it made her sad. Okay, I, I don't know, man. I've cried about stuff before. If a bunch of people on the internet were, you know, accusing me of stealing people's money and being a whore. I mean, I don't know if that would make me cry, but I think it's a reasonable thing that it made you cry. You can, why, why, why? You, your whole channel is to go on and talk to your webcam about your life and be candid and honest. Okay, she's saying that she cried because people called her names. That's not a problem. And let me, let me be clear, because he's talking about white knighting, okay, which is a concept. I get it, okay? Sometimes people come out of the woodwork and they just want to make it seem like they're champions of women and they're saving women from all the awful men. I'm not saying that. I'm not even focused on the gender thing. I would not care if this was like a super hot guy who was making like fun twink, you know, his dick hanging out or whatever fucking Patreon. It's just, she's a small creator. She's a small creator who's not making that much money. Who's, who, nobody's signing up for this $25 tier Okay, people don't do that. People on Patreon sign up for the five one dollar tier. I have a Patreon. Like very few people get above the five dollar level. So at most, she's making like fifteen hundred bucks. It, it's not, you know, not money. But she's not like running around buying Lamborghinis, man. Like get the fuck over it. I'm not white knighting this chick. I don't care. I don't want to bone this chick. I mean, I would bone this chick. Can I say that? Is that bullying? <laughs> maybe, maybe now is not the time to say that I would. I mean, I would though. Let's be. If you, if you are, you, well, let's get off that topic. I'm not. I don't care that it's a lady. I don't. This is not me saying we got to protect all women. There are women who are shitty, and I think you should say that they're shitty and call them out for their shit. But as far as I've seen, what what did this woman do to you? What what did she do? What did she do? Did she come into your house and like grab money out of your wallet and make you watch her dress up in a costume? No, Here, he keeps doubling down on this. You don't see a lot of 200 pound women with Patreon accounts collecting money for cosplay. What point are you making? I'm like really trying to wrap my head around it because he, he keeps harping on this point. And I guess what he's saying is she's only making money because she's attractive. Dude, there are people who make money for way worse reasons. Okay, there are people who make money by tricking people into getting loans for houses they can't afford. I'm a guy who watches porn. I assume any guys who, or ladies who are watching this, probably enjoy pornography. When you watch pornography, is it worse to you because like the porn actors might be getting paid? Well, they're only getting paid because they're, you know, they're attractive and thus they can be in porn. It's not really a service, in my opinion. It's someone who likes to play dress up. When I start looking at some of this cosplay, I start having to say, like, I feel a little movement down in my pantaloons, and I'm like, 
I see why. I see why people could like cosplay. He just said it. He just said it. He said, I looked at her pictures and they were attractive and I can understand how people are into this. Okay, there it is. You understand. King, this, this is just capitalism. And I don't understand why there's so many people on the internet. I bet this is one of those guys who goes, oh, communism's evil, socialism's evil. The only good, you know, system is capitalism, okay? Which I don't want to argue about it. Don't be in my fucking comments telling me about how communism killed a million Chinese people. I don't care. But the thing is, guys like this who are like champions of the idea of capitalism, okay, she's engaging in capitalism. The, the whole point of capitalism is there really are no morals, okay? And if you are able to make money without hurting people, great. This doesn't hurt anyone, okay? It's like the pet rock. There was a guy, and he figured out that if you put a rock in a box, you can sell it to people for like five, ten bucks. Because it's a joke. It's a fun joke gift. And he made a bunch of money from the pet rock. And I am not sitting here going, that guy was an asshole. How dare he sell a thing that has no tangible worth? No, I'm going, he, oh, that guy was good at capitalism. He, he identified a thing that made him money, and he did it. That's what this this lady has done. She identified a market that exists and she made money from it. There's no moral value to be applied here, okay? This is neither good nor bad. There is no point whatsoever in getting upset at how somebody else is making money unless that person is making money by hurting people. But if they're not, if it's like complete benign stupid bullshit, there is no fucking reason to care about this. Because she's pretty, it's a bad thing. How dare she make money by being pretty? Dude, again, how dare you make money just buying shit and opening it on camera? How dare you? Whoa, wow, ah, this is breaking my fucking brain. The only defense this guy has is like, look, I made a video six months ago. You know, I don't deserve to get banned for that. I mean, they can't stop him from buying magic cards, but they can stop him from playing in official tournaments and shit. But what it really comes down to is even even if he doesn't get banned or if he deserves to get banned, you know, whatever, it, it, just this whole idea. I see people defending this guy being like, well, yeah, she's, you know, a fucking cunt. How dare you charge money for dressing up? Lots of people dress up for free. And it's like, dude, like that's that's capitalism. Okay, if people are willing to pay for your thing, then you're doing capitalism right. This guy is working so hard. Let's see how hard he's working compared to Cosplay Lady. Uh, he opens a gift box. He opens a booster box. He opens a booster box again. Okay, here's a video where he actually went out of the house. Really shitty B-roll of a arcade machine. This is not work. This is, this is taking your camera and panning it across an arcade. Wow, dude, hold it steady. <laughs> Again, it's just opening stuff. And then he got some shitty footage of people playing uh, Primal Rage, where he shot, he's not even shooting the whole screen. Man, this guy's working for the money. I tell you what, he's really putting his nose to the grindstone. <laughs> and then just shitty, blurry, dark footage of the cards he opened. Yeah, this guy's busting his balls. He is definitely in a position to get mad at this lady for not working as hard as him. <laughs> oh man, this is really just absurd. And then he makes videos where he can't even take the time to uh, center himself in the frame. You know what makes a good YouTube video is cutting off the bottom of your beard. Motherfucker, you are not even working hard enough to frame your camera in the center. You're just, you just sit down and you go, ah, fuck it, it's fine. Nobody gives a shit. <laughs> just, look, at this, look at this, this is horrifying. Just this guy who looks fucking hungover with his blurry fucking eyes going, Ugh, let me tell you about magic cards. No cuts, no edits, nothing. There's nothing here, it's just talking. And this guy, this guy is saying, nobody's working as hard as me. How dare pretty people make money, you know, when I gotta work hard getting drunk in front of a camera. Ooh, single Muslim. Why am I, why is this an ad that I'm getting? Hold on, I gotta pause this, I gotta go date some Muslim ladies. Get, get my Sharia on. Is that racist? Hey, some of these Muslim ladies are kinda hot. What's the old adage? Don't look in your neighbor's pot. Stop worrying about who's working hard or not working hard. Stop worrying about if attractive people have opportunities that ugly people don't have. Uh, yeah, there's stuff where you want attractive people. If I was an attractive lady, yeah, I'd be doing something like this. That's playing your strengths. You're mad at genetics now, okay? Are you mad at, uh, you know, Usain Bolt because he's really good at running? Do you go, oh, well, the only reason he's good at running is because he has really long legs. 
You know, if he was a short-legged person, he wouldn't be winning all these races. No! You can't be pissed at people's genetics and whether or not they monetize them. That's absurd. Anyway, man, Jeremy, I don't know if you were enough of a D-bag that you deserve to get banned, but, you know, you are playing a children's card game, which is owned by a company that is just trying to make money off kid-friendly entertainment like Transformers and shit. Okay, at no point does that company want news about a fat beard guy coming down on ladies and making them cry. Even if you think you had a point, at a certain at a certain point, you gotta feel out the audience and be like, you know what, uh, maybe I gotta toe the line on this shit. If you're getting paid to open packs of magic cards, just shut your mouth. Just shut your mouth. Why? Why do you need people to know how smart you are? Just, just be smart somewhere else. JonTron, if you think uh, wealthy black people commit more crime. They commit more crime. Kill them all. You go have that opinion in in a in a private area. Don't go on. <laughs> Don't. Why? Stop screwing it up. Oh, I wish. I wish. I wish I could make JonTron money. Just sit there and play video games and be a goof. If I was making JonTron money, the last thing on my mind is I better go on YouTube <laughs> and argue about the need for racial purity. Why bring this drama on yourself and now you're banned from the game? Don't worry about who's making money, okay? Don't be mad at people for their genetics. And if you're making money <laughs> by not doing work, don't accuse other people of not doing enough work. You are not working that hard, so just let it go. Loser All right, guys, this is Vito. Now, please, I need Loser you to subscribe up. to my Patreon. <laughs> Oh my god, people are so mean to me! Subscribe to my Patreon! Oh my god, you guys! <laughs> and I'm not pretty, so I can't dress up. If I was pretty, I could wear costumes and people would give me money, but I'm so ugly, so I. <laughs> what the fuck am I doing?